Other interesting political news, you have a Boston mayor proposing to not charge people for shoplifting, drug possessions, breaking and entering, and a myriad of other morally vacuous things. Perhaps they will become the next San Francisco. Now, this comes to us thanks to libs of TikTok over on X Twitter, in which she says, quote, Boston Mayor Wu Chan said that she would support a policy that refuses to prosecute the following crimes. Shoplifting, larceny, disorderly conduct, receiving stolen property, driving with a suspended license, breaking and entering with property damage, wanton and malicious disruption of materials, threats, possession of possession uh sorry, my possession of alcohol, marijuana possession, possession with intent to distribute, non-marijuana drug possession. And she says also, quote, Democrats want to protect criminals and put Americans in danger, unquote. It went pretty well. I got 5.4 thousand views, as well as 31 thousand likes. And there's a picture of that mentally vacuous mayor who thinks this is a good idea. Which, again, we've we never had to try these policies, but we did. Look at San Francisco, the poster child of political ineptitudes. In California in general, they, again, you get what you vote for. People voted saying, hey, if you steal up to $950, it's no longer a felony. Now it's just a misdemeanor. Which again, with the public justice system, it's a very much a volume business. It's a, more well, often than not, it's a plea deal. So in order to get someone to take a plea agreement, they will plead down to a lesser charge and a lesser offense. You also have the district attorneys who basically don't prosecute anything, well, depending on their political affiliation. And San Francisco has become a third world hellhole. Just look up videos of people touring, touring the city and you'll see how much it's crumbled. Businesses are leaving in droves. I mean, you have like three big ones left. You got, Sam, you got what is it, Levi Strauss. You got Salesforce. I mean, a lot of these companies, not just the headquarters, but also have individual companies you know, closing down the remote sites. The mall was so bad it completely got banned. The Westfield Mall got banned completely. I mean, it was so bad the holding company said, oh yeah, no, you just have it. We're not going to pay any more payments. Now, I suspect this will be mostly positive comments, but let's scroll down. Elon Musk simply has an exclamation point getting 14,000 likes. There's a TikTok response saying, doesn't she seem lo lovely? Getting 6.7 thousand likes. Paul Zupa says, in other news, crime in Boston has just skyrocketed. Getting 2.1 thousand likes. Let's see here. Liber or sorry, Libertarian Thinker says, old left versus modern left. And the old left was a old hippie van or Volkswagen van. And it said, you know, through the establishment, no CIA, free speech, free love. The new one is a much bigger vehicle. It says, obey the establishment, no free speech. Love CDC, mask up, do what you're told. You also forgot to go from no war to pro war. But nevertheless, that did get thir or sorry, 53 likes. Arthur Eagleman says move out of Boston, shit about to get real, getting 3.5 thousand likes. The Libertad Media TM says believe us now and says no one, and I mean no one, has done more harm to, more harm to America than Democrats. I'm quoting 2.5 thousand likes. Scrolling down more and more. You have Mendy Howe saying walk your talk, Mayor Wu. Lead by example, say, let the looters come to your house and let them loot it. Don't report it to the police. Then we'll know you're not simply virtue signaling. Gain 1.9 thousand likes. Liz Churchill says, another dirty uh, communist infiltrator gained 1 thousand likes. Planet of Memes gets A+. They also respond in meme form. They're on, a, they're on a roll today. They say never go to a Democrat city. And it's a Simba Lion King meme. And it says, Simba, why don't we go to that shadowy place? And Mufasa says, that is a Democrat-run city. You must never go there. I got 1.4 thousand likes, which, I mean, in terms of safety and your well-being, I don't know a lot of people going to Chicago for vacation or San Francisco or most of those cities. They seem to have all the commonalities of crime, drugs, homelessness. Nevertheless, that did get 1.4 thousand likes. The... Junita Broderick says Democrats make crap holes out of one's good city, getting 4.2 thousand likes, which one of the best examples has to be Detroit, which again, was also, that was also business policies as well, and cultural decay. But yeah, Detroit at one time was the richest city on the planet. Which is almost, that sounds, it sounds comical to think about it now because it's just devolved so much. And yet, they, you, know, you get what you vote for, they keep doing the same thing again and again and again, which is also the definition of insanity. You have Ian Jager saying, hopefully Boston will elect a Republican mayor soon, getting 682 likes. Red Wave Press says, Democrats are telling us they want to protect criminals. How can law-abiding citizens vote for these people? Follow if you agree. Getting 471 likes, which also most people who vote, unfortunately, don't really don't know the policies they're voting for behind the candidates. They really just see, hey, Democrat, we voted for them. Or, hey, Republican, vote for them. 
So I, I'm in, all in favor of getting rid of those letters next to their names. You should know who you're actually voting for, not just vote party ticket. Especially if you're Republican, because there's so many right not so many rhinos, also pejoratively known as Republicans in name only. Even especially in that case, VCNR doesn't mean they they actually have a track record of voting with Republican policies and ideals. Let's see. See if there's any contrary statements here. Protoss the general says she is the reason Trump is leading the polls, getting 338 likes. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Scrolling down. Yeah, not really a lot of contrarian statements. And again, she I mean this this is a mayor who got successfully elected, and there are probably millions of people who like what she does, and there are there are people who do think her policies are good. They think, oh, well, why should we worry about prosecuting for these crimes? I mean, what's wrong with more drugs, more shoplifting? What's what's wrong with, you know, driving with a suspended license? What's wrong with breaking and entering? What's the worst that could happen? Well, San Francisco could happen. And businesses go leave in droves, they shut down. Let me know. Do you think she'll get reelected? Do you, do you think anyone is paying attention in terms of, you know, they even know their local mayoral uh, candidates? They even know their local mayor policies? I mean, granted, I would never vote for her, but I mean, millions of people probably will. Let me know in the comments. As always, it'd be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't get to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.